Hello and welcome to this Glasgow City Council Technical Teachers in Service session, this time on rendering. Predominantly looking at 2D rendering or the, the illusion of three dimensional objects uh, enhanced with some uh, pencil rendering. In this case, in the first of maybe about four or five videos, uh, just basic wood grain. Now, first of all, the, the lines going out at the moment, the sharp brown pencil suggests the annular growth rings. On the side of the material, they're drawing in with a sharp tipped edge and giving a fairly a firm dark brown line. The side of the pencil, the side of the tip of the pencil is then used to fade away from the dark line towards the white space, in this case on the right hand side. This is slowed down significantly just so as you can reinforce the idea of using the side of the tip of the pencil. Now, if you come across any of the grips we've used before, it's using a, a, a render grip where the pencil is held low at a low angle with the pressure coming halfway along the pencil giving it a much softer, more subtle uh, pressure throughout its use. So you can go harder, you can go lighter. And back to normal speed again. So we're going to do this first of all for all the brown lines, the little one in the corner there, and we've got a bit that would be cut off, the bit of wood that's at the far side before it was cut to size, so a little bit of that brown coming in as well. Three main colours we're using here are brown, orange and yellow. Now these are the cheapest pencils I could find just to try this out for the first time. An idea of the orange is just really, and I've used this term a lot, just to warm up the brown, to give it a slightly warmer glow to it. Remember, this is the representation of wood. You will not find any piece of wood on the planet that looks specifically like this. This is just giving a wood grain render effect. Now we can play about with the, the colours and we can play about with the closeness of the lines later on. This one's a little little bit like putting a buttercup under your chin. You're just giving a little shite, uh, whoops, slight hint of yellow. Careful in the commentary. Slight hint of yellow over the top to get rid of any white that's left in the background. And that's it. That's the cheapest pencil I could find. It was a box of maybe about 20 pencils for about two pounds uh, from uh, one of the discount shops. I'm going to use a little more expensive pencil now. It does make a difference, but to be honest, the ones I've used in Glasgow uh, schools in the past seem pretty good for the job. So again, those annular growth rings, they're, they're going up and down the material and we're going to use this side of the tip of the pencil again. Now, in design terms, this is maybe not the best way to, to uh, arrange this material because the, the hole for those cylinders would be cutting into the end grain. So we'll just ignore that little point at the moment. Um, but bear in mind, if you are doing this and drilling holes into end grain, it's a lot harder work. But for rendering purposes, we're using the sharp tip of the pencil, then the side of the tip of the pencil to give that graduation of uh, dark to light. Uh, for each of the growth rings. Now the, the wider apart we have these, the quicker it is and also suggestive more of a soft wood. If we put these lines closer together we might be suggesting some sort of maybe a hard wood. Um, that's the orange going on top. Again it's warming up the brown. You can see between the two drawings uh, on the screen there there is a definite difference in the quality of the, 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 the colours but we're just putting that little bit of orange on top of the brown to warm it up. And then, last of all, we've got to put a little bit of that yellow on. It doesn't matter too much if you go outside the rectangle. In fact, I would encourage kids not to try and stop on the inside. I'm a little bit guilty of this here. Some of the pencil work doesn't quite go to the edge, so I'm a little bit rusty in doing this demonstration uh, over the last few weeks. So, there's the basic outline. What you can do in any drawing, it's worth doing it even with flat tonal colours, is just to give the darker colour you've used a, a little bit of an edge, doubling up the outside line with the colour just inside the black line and it just gives a more defined edge to the material. And if I put this top line in, it will to some degree take away the, the, the overstrike, the, uh, the fact the rendering's gone over the line. So there's uh, a simple pine type of wood grain rendering. Again, the choice of colours make a difference. This time we're going to go for, if you do remember back in the day, stuff called hardwoods. This is to try and show the idea of the grain being closer together. Again, running up along the length of the material. Uh, in this case, tighter grain, closer angular rings, growth rings. And uh, again, same idea. We're going to use the side of the tip of the pencil. Now, because these lines are a lot closer together, what I have done is I'm going to speed this video up. An idea that you can see it happening but it will certainly make this video a little bit shorter for you to watch. So this is flying through those parts. Same technique, all I've done is just speed it up just to save a little bit of time. So that's taken from the firm line, brown line, then with the brown, and then moving on to the orange, or a slightly redder looking version of brown, depending on what colours you have available. To, there's the orange going on now. 
and that's filling up most of, if not all, the area. Again, you should maybe do a bit more towards the top and the bottom. You can see I've left what looks like a little frozen edge top and bottom there, so I spend a little bit more time tidying those up. Um, this might be even just a, a more solid looking hardwood, it might be something uh, like cedar for example, slightly readier looking wood. But again, you're representing wood, you're not trying to show something full on. Have a go yourself.